Okay, good. I can hear myself. Howdy. Good evening. Hello. Welcome. Salutations. Um, festive greetings and all the rest of it. Howdy, 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 howdy. Hopefully you're all well. Uh, before we get started, I will apologize for the not particularly pretty presentation of this stream. This has all been a little bit last minute, admittedly. I've been tr desperately trying to get everything rocking and rolling as quickly as I can. It has been a... It's been a busy couple of days. It's been a... It's been a weird couple of weeks, all things being honest. But, uh, we are here ready to do the draw for the... 2024 Stoneburner Open, our first Dune Uprising competition. We'll be going live now in a moment or so. Just make sure everyone is here. Hopefully you guys, everything is fine. You can hear me. I believe you should be able to hear me. I can hear me, so that's a, that's a good sign. Uh, assuming everyone can hear and see me, we'll get started momentarily. Oh, goodness me, it has been pretty wild. Sorry there hasn't been a ton of content on the channel the past couple of weeks. Uh, obviously, this draw itself was uh, delayed a little bit. This was meant to have been done last week. Uh, however, um, I was sick for several days in the lead up to that, which meant that I just did not get any opportunity uh, to do any of the work for this competition at all. And this week has also been, all well, the week just gone has been pretty pretty wild as well so uh, it's been a little bit of a scramble to get everything up and running uh but we have got everything ready to rock and roll here uh this is as i mentioned this is our first uprising competition that we've done since the conclusion of x Imo, uh just a few weeks or so ago we wanted to get the turnaround for this going as fast as possible and again would have been quicker normally speaking uh this tournament is going to be slightly experimental in that, obviously, not only is it moving over to Dune Uprising, but also we are testing a couple of changes as well to how we do the competitions. We're changing the point structure for scoring from a 5 3 one to a 6 3 two, one uh, We also have changed the way that we develop the groups in the first place, doing it via time slots. I'm sure you, you in this moment, you all know this, but just as a context for those that who may not have entered, uh, knowing what's going on. So what we're going to do, is we have six pools of players uh, to choose from here, and I'll be doing draws for all six of them live. A couple of them are a little bit long, and I might have to get creative with that, but we'll work it out as we go. I have got also this lovely little spinning wheel up right here uh, with our various sections that we can go and spin them all, and as the names are pulled, I will turn them from here over to the sheet, and we'll do all the groups. We'll be doing alternate uh, picking. So this will be group A to D. So it'll be A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. You get the general idea. Uh, the For those playing, just a quick reminder as well. Uh, games will be set to start next week. It will not be starting immediately as we've done previously. This is purely due to the fact that we are changing again how we do some structuring. So uh, we're going to do the draw. Uh, players have got a week to kind of get themselves in action. Uh, and then it's four weeks of solid games. Uh, a week at the end of that just for any catch-ups and then we'll be straight on to the knockouts which is simplified into wild cards uh quarter final semi-final and then the finals uh we have ourselves about 150 odd entrants for this tournament uh, i should also be noted um and this is something i do want to make a mention of there are a couple of folks who have entered the competition via our patreon but did not fill out a form telling me of what group they want. Uh, as such, I'm not drawing them tonight. Uh, if you're one of those couple of people, you need to get in contact with me or CJ um, so we can get you added after the fact. But there are like two people, I believe, who did not do that. We're trying to chase them down. Um, so that is part of the reason we've got this buffer week between now and the game starting to try and address anything like that rather than trying to do it on the fly, which is a little bit messy sometimes. Uh, but other than that, I think we're going to get ready to do the draw here. Um, expect a lot of pings on the Discord server on Hidden Assets once you are done. Right, should we get started, everyone? I think we should. i got a long old night ahead of me. Again, not the prettiest setup this. I do appreciate that, and I apologize in advance. But here we are. So, let's not do that. Uh, we want to get hold of that one. Okay, so this is first wheel. 
132 will be drawing. This is the groups A through D. This will consist of four eight-player groups, as you can see here. A, B, C, and D. We're going to draw them all out and uh, see how we rock and roll. Uh, my windows are a bit all over the place, admittedly, so I'm kind of... Uh, I'm running on limited space. Maybe if I get this over here... Yeah, that that kind of works. Sure. It, it's not okay. Uh, should we get started, kids? I believe we should. Um, there's not going to be any noise to this because it, it is not the wheel normally is. I couldn't find it, so it's fine. Let's get started, shall we? So, group A to D. Let's get started. So, we're going to go spin the wheel. And we're going to rock and roll here. So, there's 1 to 32. On the left is the Discord name. The right is the Steam name. So, first up in group A, topping it is going to be number 32. That is going to be GG Bosch. Or Gigi Bok, who literally joined the competition like three hours ago. <laughs> so they're going to be getting involved immediately. Uh, I will have to port all these names over afterwards. That's i got a long night ahead of me, kids. Let's get that removed. Okay, very good. Uh, next up, we're going to go to the Group D. Uh, That's what we're going to do here. We're going to be here probably for about 30, 40 minutes. Uh, group B is going to be starting off with number 28, just about. Uh, that is Holy Boss, Zach, uh, who is, of course, a familiar uh, on the channel, as well as on the North Carolina Invitational. has been a, bit, uh, a couple of times there as well. A very, very solid player. Okay. Next up, next wheel. This is for Group C. I should also clock these out while I'm going, just as a reminder. We'll go ahead and do that. Uh, group C is going to start off with number 16. That is going to be GVX, uh, who I have played an absolute bucket ton of over the course of time. A lot of fun to play with. So they'll be starting off in that group. Man. Doing things like last minute is uh, it's a little tricky, kids. I'm not going to lie. It's a little, little tricky. But what are you going to do? And then Group D. I guess I didn't have to do this live, but it's kind of fun to do, you know? Uh, we'll be starting with number 26. That is the Meow Scenery. It's known as Vanity of the Green One. That's a hell of a name. Should note while we're here, by the way, uh, that some group, most groups are eight players. There are a couple of groups that are seven players. We join later on. Uh, for those, there are a couple of people that will have to do double duty on one week. So just please uh, give them some leniency where possible. Okay. Uh, let's go back to Group A then. So starting off joining with Gigi Bosch. Or Bach. It's going to be number 22. That is going to be Mr. Mitchell. Uh, what was that? Mitchell 8623. If I could ever do this correctly. I, I, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's been one of those kind of days. All right, then. Let's get drawing. Quicker we can do it. We can go to bed. <laughs> kind of thing. Well, we're drawing this, by the way, out of curiosity. Uh, haven't you guys seen the Doom 2 movie? I have I have not seen it. Uh, obviously, we did the Doom 1 movie a couple of weeks ago on the channel. I've not had a remote chance. I imagine if you've ever seen it. Number five, joining Group B. That is going to be Hobbin Rudd. Which is a name I can obviously appreciate. See again? Have you seen it once already? We'll see it again. Jeez, must like it. Uh, group C is going to be number eleven. That is the big fig wasp, which is uh, a heck of a name. If I could spell, that would also be advantageous. I don't know when I'm going to see it. I will find a spot somewhere, but not right now. There is. It's been wild. Uh, group D, joining Meow Sunray. It's going to be number three. That is C Real, or Cy Real. If I'm wrong with any of these pronunciations, then please feel free to correct me. I do not protest to being an expert on this. Yeah, from the 15, 20 minutes or so that I, we saw at the Local Invitational, we had an exclusive showing of it. It was very good. It was very good. Uh, next up, number 31. Uh, that is going to be Double D Chem, or Orient, who also only just uh, joined the competition in the last few moments or so. Double D Chem, those underscores. 
Or again, I could be horribly mispronouncing it. Yeah. I, the thing as well, when I, we, we went to the showing, I mentioned this a couple weeks or so ago. Uh, that was the first time I've been to a cinema in like a decade. Uh, and the size of that screen, that IMAX theater, was ridiculous. Absolutely insane. I've never seen anything quite like it. It was a good time, though. All right, next up, Group B, number 10. That is going to be Jester J. Joker. Joining Holy Boss's group. That's not the most enviable of situations, but uh, should be some good spins. Howdy, 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 all. Uh, next up, joining Group C is going to be number 20. That is Toaster or Toaster Roo. Of course, Toaster, our new uh, and defending Imperium Cup champion after his adventures in the last competition. We've never had anyone go back to back on competitions. Just see how that goes. Uh, Group D, joining this one will be number nine. That is the epical one. Uh, which also reads as epic alone, which I think is what it's actually meant to say. I'm sure someone can, uh, someone can, someone can correct me on that. But uh, I did note that I was, I was like, which one is it? I was like, mm. Delete trying to throw me off. All right, back to group A. We are doing this solo tonight. No assistance, unfortunately. It's one of those days. Uh, number seven. That is going to be Ding, also known as the Pancake Man. A good idea for me to type it in first so I could actually see what the heck I'm doing, wouldn't it? That would be incredibly intelligent. It's almost like I may have done one of these things before. And I'm using that past experience, you see. Very clever. All right, Holy Boss Group, number 21. That is going to be Brandon12. If you typed in there. I do hope that the matchmaking goes fairly well, by the way. We are obviously looking to try and kind of. Um, we have been trying to kind of like change a little bit how we do the system, but to improve it as well. So hopefully for folks joining competition, it will work out a bit smoother. Uh, getting games in, like the, the turnover time for this competition is like just over two months, which is pretty quick for 150 players online. Uh, unlucky for some, but maybe lucky for one. Number 13 is going to be Schleifer. L-A-E-F. E R oh, man, it feels like I've been playing. Um, I've been playing a bit of uh, Cook Serve Delicious. Most of you guys probably aren't interested, but some of these names it really reminds me of that. So it's like, where's this typing? How do you spell these words? Really strange. Anyways, Schleif will be joining Group C. All right, next up, let's keep going. We've got to say 115 names to draw, so it's going to take a little moment to do all of them. Uh, next up is number two. No, number four. That is Cartman Beck. Cartman Beck joining uh, Group D. Definitely a familiar name around this neck of the woods. All right, we're halfway through Group A to D. Next up is going to be number eight. That is the Grizzlepuff, who I believe has been putting in some serious hours, I believe, into Uprising. I could be wrong about that. I honestly haven't had a chance to do very much up Dune at all of any kind past couple of weeks. It's been kind of a, maybe taking a slight chance to take a break from it, knowing that I'm obviously getting quite a lot into it. Uh, there is a plan to do some games of it next week. I'll probably stream them. Uh, so I'll let you know as when I see that. Uh, Group B, joining Holy Wars is going to be Strong Acting, also known as Swap. That's a, that's a heck of a match, that. Yikes. That should make for some good games. Again, sorry, there hasn't been a ton of content. It's just, uh, you know, life has gone in the way a little bit, unfortunately. Uh, drawing Group C is going to be number 24. That is Subulence. What are you drawn here? I know normally when I do these, I try and get like a little bit of like some of them, like bits and pieces I've done in previous comments. Again, I've had no time. <laughs> You'll have to apologize. Group D is going to be number one. That is on the bounce. One of the first folks um, to join for the Uprising competition. Okay, that's Group A. I don't know why I've got this headset on. I can't even hear anything. I, I could... Let's take this off. I don't need that. <laughs> 
Number 17 is going to be up next. Uh, that is joining Group 8. That is Evan517. Get you joined into there. Stupendous. Yeah, and a reminder, there will be uh, games be starting next week. So you have a week to kind of schedule yourselves out and get yourselves ready to rock and roll. Uh, joining Group B is going to be number 14. That is Roma604. Joined, who's played plenty of game. I've played plenty of game against Roma. It would also help if I spelt your name correctly, wouldn't it? That'd be advantageous. Yeah, it's going to be busy. I don't know quite how exactly it's all going to work. Is I mean, effectively, there's like 150 games or so being played in four and a half, five weeks. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, joining Group C is going to be number 19. Uh, that is Historian GT. You've spelled up there. Beautiful. Oh, we're getting through these pretty quickly, which is good. Well, quickly enough. Again, I could have done this admittedly just myself, but I like to do it live, so it's like you can tell that I'm not like fixing anything. It's all completely random. Uh, Droop D is going to be number 27. That is Cyclo Tourist. Get yourself entered in there. Fantastic. But yeah, it's going to be really, really busy uh, Like next month. Like, oh my god, I don't know quite what's happening. There's stuff going on on my side as well. Uh, I haven't told anyone this publicly, but I'm actually moving in a few weeks. Uh, yeah, it should make things interesting. Uh, next up, number 15 is going back to Group A. Uh, that is Slurmish. Slurmish in for Group A. That's a fun one. Running out of numbers here, of course, you can see. Group B, says Holy Boss, Jester J, Shrine Acting, amongst others, is number 18. Is now good. Oof, man, this is a fun, fun-looking group. It's going to be some pretty wild games in that one. Goodness me. Group C. Yeah, that's understandable. Like, it's just, it's, sometimes life just gets in the way of stuff, you know? Uh, group C, number 23, that is Chim... I read this the other day, and I was like, hold on a second. It's Chimamam... Chima... Chimamam... Chima that, okay? <laughs> Why do people have to have confusing names? It does not help me in the slightest. Don't appreciate that. Have a simple name like, I don't know, like Eric. Eric, I believe. I think Eric joined, actually. Anyways, uh, Group D, uh, number 29, it is Mr. CJFM. My co-conspirator is in Group D. Uh, hasn't admittedly had the best of runs the past couple of competitions and Nick's Nimmo, but he's been putting in some time into Uprising. He's having some good results recently, and he'll be hoping to go uh, a good distance. And, you know, I've got belief in him he can do it. I think he could well uh, have a good crack at it. But it's not been... He's not had a great run in these comps. Rounding off the groups here then. So Group A's last entrant is going to be number 12. That is Albuff 1. Get you drawn in there. Last few names. His here, Luke Maniac and Christ is Lord. The last ones. Group B. The Holy Boss is going to be his here. Man, this is a heck of a group this. This is a fun one. Man, oh man. That is, uh, that's a, that's an entertaining group. Group B looking very good. Fish off group C. He's going to be number 30. That is Christ is Lord. Or Christ is Lord, I don't know. Which means number 25 is our last draw here. Um, and that will be the Luke Maniac. Joining in for group B. D. That is everything done for the first set of groups. Yeah, I appreciate it. So I'm looking forward to covering this. Like, of course, this is our first uprising competition that we've done. Uh, I am yet to cover an uprising game. I was hoping to kind of try and do something about that the last week or so, but I had absolutely no chance whatsoever. So, going from Xmo, where I've done, I've covered like, I 
like 200 games or something of it. So it's an Uprising. It's going to be a little weird at first. I've never spectated an Uprising game, but I think it could be fun. And it's going to be very interesting to see, especially with this competition specifically. Part of the fascination of this is that this is going to be a bit kind of Wild West. The game's not been out particularly long. People are still kind of working out the game, trying to, you know, suspect some pieces out. So I think you're going to see, apart from the last competition, where there's kind of a bit of an established sort of what to do and what not to do. I think this is going to be kind of a bit Wild West-ish. Um, and I think that'll make this really, really fun. All right, so that is Groups A to D done. Beautiful. So next we're going to head on over to the Groups E and F. Uh, so this is two, uh, one group of eight players and one group of seven players between 15. Very notable names in there. Seven Spirits, like Pamster, Morphling, LSR, uh, just to name a few in here. So there could be some real fun matchups. Well, that was kind of part of the reason I wanted to do the top five series was A, to kind of give me an idea of helping with that. But also folks kind of not yet particularly familiar with Uprising, still picking it up. To kind of help Matt, you know, just to give him a bit of a starting base was the plan. I think it worked really well. Um, well I will be looking to do more of that stuff, but I just haven't uh, haven't had any time. Anyways, okay, so groups E and F are next, so let's get going. So this should be pretty quick fire. So 1 to 15, and starting up this is going to be number 9. That is Henry4213, also known as Raycon. If I could spell your name correctly, that would be most advantageous. So, um, so the problem with doing games live, like, part of me kind of would like to do games live, but whenever we do games live, I kind of feel like I should do them cards down. The problem is also if I'm doing them live, it's kind of a different vibe to doing them locally recorded, where I can obviously do a bit of editing here and there. Um, what I kind of would like to do down the line, let's keep drawing here, by the way, so I'm not currently talking is to, like, have something else happening on the side where I do cover some games live. I haven't quite worked out what and exactly how that will work. But it would be good to do some more games live. There's no doubt about that. And it's something that I think we should do more. Okay, number eight. That is going to be Sunny D, also known as DS. We'll give you, we'll give you Sunny D. That's what I know you more as. Starting off in Group F. <laughs> See who you're going to draw here. So back to E. But we should definitely do some more some more live stuff. I do agree. So joining Henry is going to be number four. That is Morphling. Morphling has had a few journeys to the... Uh... See, someone else here that, that has... Never mind, it's fine. But Morphling, very, very strong player, has been to the North Carolina Invitationals. Played against a few times. Very, very good good times. Okay, back to Group F. To be number 10. That is going to be Harry Chen. Whoops. Mm. I was meant to remove that. Right, if, when 10 comes up, I need to remove it. It will come up eventually. Misclick there, my bad. Okay, number... 12 just about for Group E. That is going to be Beam Lower. It's known as Solanum. Joining in for there. Um, what I was kind of wanting to do at some point was like do like kind of like a little, almost like a mini league of some kind on the side with like some of the more regular players and then broadcast some of those games. Would be pretty cool. Uh, it's just it's just the logistics of it. So there's 10, so we can get rid of that. As I forgot to do it last time. Ah, uh, okay. Next up, joining Sonny and Harry. He's going to be number five. That is... Hmm. I see, I read that as, like, Eigen K. I think you could pronounce that a couple of different ways. I'm trying not to butcher people's names on the internet. It's kind of, it's kind of rude, you know? Oh, Joining Group E is going to be number 11. That is Sean Chen, also known as the Public Spectacle, which I believe is their name on our on our uh, Discord as well. So I'll put them down as Public Spectacle. Um, Didn't you already join? 
Uh, DM me on Discord and we'll try and sort something out. There are a couple of folks that have not, who like have joined but haven't done a Google form, so I'm not drawing them. So get in contact with me on Discord and I'll try and sort you out, man. I can't do it right now. I'm a little busy, but get in contact with me and uh, we'll, we'll sort something out. All right, next up is going to be number 14. That is um, Aphalingus, which is a hell of a name. Assuming I'm pronouncing it correctly. Aphalingus? Hmm. English is difficult. I mean, it's all kind of great, though, isn't it? But yeah, please, please get in contact with us. All right. Group E, number 15. That is going to be Alberto. Alberto joining Group E with Morph, Spectacle, and Co. I probably should have some like backing music for you guys, I guess. It's not bad. No, there there won't be there won't be the form. Forms closed. So again, DM me directly and uh we'll we'll get you sorted. Alright, next up is back to group F. Yes, group F is number six. There's gonna be Jinxy. Jinxy joining Group F. So a few notable names still not polled. Spirit, Type Hamster, LSR. No one been drawn. So some names still to come. We have four, five, six, seven. I've missed a couple of numbers, haven't I? I have not put down. Uh, hmm. We'll work that out. Yes, Aphalingus I've drawn, and you I've drawn. Right, sorry about that. Getting distracted, you know. Anyways, next up is going to be number two. That is going to be the jo uh, Joe Klein. Uh, it's, it's, there's a couple of names where I always, when I first read it, I I I read it and then realize I've read it completely wrong, and I just can't seem to say it correctly the first time. It, it's fine. Don't worry about it, man. So Joe Klein joining Group E. Looks like we Group F. And it's going to be number seven. That is Elisa. The custodian of our extended rules uh, FAQ, which has been posted uh, again. is now getting updated with the uprising stuff. Huge thanks to LSR for keeping that up to date. It's a great, great resource for everyone kind of, you know, to look at bits and pieces and all the edge cases that come up in this game. Uh, LSR as well, who I've played a few times out of North Carolina Invitational. It just, man, what a, what a, what a player. Goodness me. Some real, real, like, Hex of games I've had against him. Yet to have a, like a really deep run in the North Carolina Invitational. I think he's doing. Okay then. So uh, next up is number three. That is I Pamster Eric five five one eight. Of course, uh, some may remember went on an insane run a couple of competitions ago in the Golden Path Internationals. Had an insane, insane run, run, winning like seven games in a row or something, but coming unstuck, I believe it was in the finals or so. Uh, but a uh, hell of a run. Didn't have a, a great one in the last competition, but you can't replicate that. So joining Group F finally is going to be number one, and that is going to be Seven Spirits, uh, who I have not had the pleasure of being able to play uh, recently. Um, but, uh, very, very strong. Uh, also someone that, you know, like I, let me, let me, let me rephrase what I was about to say there. Um, you had plenty of discussions about rules and stuff like that on the discord as well. Don't always meet them eye to eye, but definitely do respect them and, uh, enjoy their company, which means that last up for this is going to be number 13, which is going to be CJ Osaurus. Uh, if I could spell it correctly. That would be useful. So that is groups E and F completed. Very good. Couple of couple of fun groups there, definitely. All right then, let's keep going. So next up, we're going into groups G and H. Uh, this is a combination of two time zones. Uh, as um, I had to do that, otherwise we would have had some some pretty wonky stuff going on. A uh, couple of big names here as well. Badger, the defending uh, Uprising Invitational Champion. Uh, with Barbridge there. A uh, couple of very, very strong players there as well. But uh, all eyes will definitely be on Badger to see who gets drawn with the defending champion there. Should be for a good spin. Let's go. 
So, 1 to 14. And we'll see who gets drawn. It should be interesting. So, first up is going to be number 9. That is going to be... Uh, it's another one I'm not very good at his name here. Frippia? Frippair? I might also have that slightly misspelled. If so, I'm sorry. And I apologize. Unreservedly. They'll be starting off in Group G. It's kind of a fun one, knowing, obviously, Badger's the defending champion. Would you want to get drawn with him, or do you not want to get drawn with him in the group stages? And kind of, It's kind of a fascinating little thing. Anyways, uh, number four is going to be Professor Charles Horse, which I've horribly butchered in its spelling. But the Professor will be starting off in Group H. Okay, let's keep going. Thank you for your company as well on this Monday evening. It is appreciated. So folks know that we're not lying about the draws. Uh, next up is going to be number 13. That is going to be Manalak. Hmm, that's not what I meant to. Hmm. Hmm, that's, that has, hold on a second. That has not worked out well. There we are. Best laid plans, everyone. Best laid plans. I like info group G. Next up, group H. Next going to be number six. That is going to be the airman, Che Guevara. Well, I got the pleasure to meet as well. North Carolina invitation. Really, really lovely to do so. Very, very strong player. Very aggressive as well. Uh, always, always happy to get themselves stuck into combat. Always good entertainment. Back up to group G. Next up is going to be number 10. That is going to be Winfrop. Winfrop in for Group G. All right, next up is going to be Group H. That's not why I meant to press. That's also not why I meant to press. Uh, and then it's going to be number 7. That is going to be Day. Uh, no, it's not. It's Sullivan. Sullivan IF. So known as Jazz. I've missed someone here, haven't I? Was it Manalak? Yeah, it was Manalak. Cool beans. All right. Let's keep going. Oh. It is indeed. Number 10 is Mag... Oh, did I just mispress entirely? Did I just completely misread that? I'm so sorry. I did, didn't I? Hold on, let's get... I've I've made a mistake, Phil. Thank you for that. All right, let's um get this fixed. So I'm trying to hold a conversation here. So, Kas Wade Barbrich. What's this? Kasparov uh, in for that group. Right, it's, what have I done here? You're there. Number 10, yeah. Yeah, no, that is true. Yeah, that is Magda Key. I apologize. Just completely wrote that. Thank you, everyone. For uh, correcting me there. Wouldn't want to get this stuff wrong. Truth be told, it wouldn't be... Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> but said about that, the better. Grab to Group H. Professor Che and Sullivan. Ooh, just about dodging Badger for now. But it's number three. There's Dr. Bell. Bell in for there. Has been in, I believe, the past couple of competitions in the Australasia group. Yet to have a deep run in any of them, though. Probably do it eventually. All right. Back to Group G. It's also kind of interesting as well. We've, a lot of the Australasia group tend to get drawn with each other. So it's nice to kind of split them up a little bit here. Uh, it's going to be number eight. That is Dalen JF. Dalen JF in for Group G. Six, five to pull. Badger's still sitting there. He's got to come out eventually. Oh, this could be it. Oh, it is. Here we are then. Defending in Uprising Invitational Champion Badger finds himself in Group H with Che Guevara and Dr. Bell and Co. That should be uh, that should be some fun games. May if I get lucky to catch any of those, that'd be nice. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be um, it's gonna be some wild matches. That it's gonna be good. Yeah, I appreciate the assistance, kids. It is needed on a day like today. 
Let's get these rounded off here then. Number 14 into Group G. That is going to be the D Monkey. Do want to also thank uh, Monkey as well for pitching in. Uh, did initially pick a different time slot, but opted to take this one to help balance groups. Uh, so I really do appreciate them doing that. That has uh, done me a favor. So thank you much, Mr. Monkey. Or Mrs. Monkey. Oh, I'm not to judge. Uh, okay, back to Group H as I accumulate myself more on stream. Is number 11. That is, that is Winthrop. Apologies for the earlier draw. Uh, that leaves 5 and 12. And Group G will be finding number 12. So that will be Sir Marcius. Which means that leaves number 5. The Brotato in for Group H. Who I believe has been putting in plenty of hours into Uprising. They should be a pretty good model fours. That's a that's a fun old that's a, at least some fun old games in the group H. Goodness me. Good times. Alright. Super stuff. Okay, next up we're gonna do groups I and J. This is a similar deal to previously. I've had to whoops. Had to combine in two different groups. Uh for this one. A few notable names, including Mr. Cheesable, who finds himself in here. So there should be some uh, some fun games here. Two groups of seven. Let's get going. And we're starting off with number 11. And that is going to be Shades. Uh, shades. A lot of numbers. I don't know how people... How many people come up with like, these number strings sometimes? I, I, I got nothing. Anyways, Shades to start off with Group I. And we're off to Group J. And first up is going to be number 6. That is Uber. Uber has been a regular in our various competitions. Had not a bad run, I don't seem to recall, in the Imperium Cup. We hope we go a little bit further this time, though. Yeah, I imagine there is probably a couple. You know what, how it is. If I need to update stuff, I can update on the fly. It'll be fine. Anyways, number nine is me. This is Mr. Matt Love. Coming in for Group I. I haven't had a chance to play them any time recently, but uh, it has been a lot of fun. Very, very strong player. Very tricky player as well, actually. With all sorts of funky moves ahead of them, which I appreciate. Joining Group J is going to be number one, just about. It's going to be Matthias. Matthias joining in Group J. We do have coming up next all the European groups. Uh, we've got the um, the the big European groups coming up next, which I expect is probably a lot of you watching, are probably from that sort of area. Uh, back to Group I, number two. That is going to be Moonaim. I shipped or Moon Moonaim. I believe it's meant to be kind of like a play on like you know like the Muad'Dib kind of like uh, you know the apostrophe. I'm guessing. I don't know. I've not read the books, but that's my guess. We'll be in for Group I. It's up to Group J, and it's going to be number eight. That is Water or Fire. Water or Fire joining in for Group J. That's a Group I. It's going to be number 12. That is Fire. Ferry Perry. Ferry Perry joining Shades, Matt Love, and... It's not a name I know. <laughs> I can pronounce it particularly well, so I might just avoid it. <laughs> no offense. I have not yet seen it yet. How do you do, Mr. Denon? No, I've had absolutely no chance. Uh, since basically doing the watch along for the first for the first film, I've been crazy busy, then I've been sick, I've been crazy busy again, so I will watch it eventually at some point. It'll probably be I'll have to light up a stream to make myself sit down and watch it. Uh, we also need to watch the film from the eighties. That'll be that'll be a blast. To put it mildly, how are you doing, anyways, uh, sir? Uh, ah, here we go then. So joining Group J, that is even before that is Mr. Cheesable joining in for Group J. You'd think Cheese has probably do a big run in one of our competitions. Did play well in the previous comp, but had to pull out uh, due to fair reasons. And yeah, new, new kid, so congratulations on that. 
Okay, back to group I. We have number 13. That is the Heretic. Very, very strong player. Didn't mean to do that. Doesn't matter. Leaves us with 5 to draw. 3, 5, 7, 10, and 14. Next up to group J is number 10. And that is Nostalgia. Also known as Lucas, which is what I know him as. I'm going to put them down as that. Discord's a bit funky sometimes. Oh god, don't look don't ask me that question. I mean, to be fair, it's already it has already got the 80s um, atomics line from Patrick Stewart, so uh, it's already halfway there. Where I, I got hold of the old film and I had to just seek out that line. It's just that'll be an exp that'll be a, that'll be a, like a, a few hours to spend. Anyways, back to the draw here. Uh, number 3 is going to be Bayoken. Bayoken joining in for group I, along with the heretic. Group J, only three people left. And it's going to be number five. That is going to be the Yazmat. Who, of course, went on a uh, hell of a run in the previous competition. Uh, did really, really good for themselves. I had them as a dark... You know, I was hoping they might even go the, the extra step, but they uh, had a hell of a run. Sorry, my mind's a bit frazzled at the moment. So they're in for Group J. Joining with Cheeseable. Oof. That's some spicy games. And then rounding out the groups here is going to be number seven. That is Co um, Codus. Meaning that last up on Group J is going to be number 14, which is Yugus. That is groups I and J completed. Good stuff. Okay, so now we're going to get ourselves to the big ones. Uh, so this is group uh, groups Kato. We've got five groups to draw here. It's going to keep us very, very busy. We've got 36 total names. I'm going to have to work this out here slightly. I might just need to zoom out just a fraction here. Let me see how clever I can be. 97? That's 34. Hmm. Can I shrink this a touch? Hmm, that's not what I meant to do. 35. Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. You're on the fly editing. You are very welcome. So we've got 36 total names for five separate groups. One group of eight, four groups of seven. Uh, this also includes myself. I do find myself in this group here in one of the drawers. So a lot of names. Let's get going. And first up is going to be number 15. That is Terry Fabulous. What a name that is. It would help if I could spell your name correctly, wouldn't it? That's why it's a U. English is difficult, everyone. English is really, really hard. All right. Next up is going to be Group L. So we're getting, doing groups... Uh, K L M N N O, and Group L is me opening up with number thirty-one. That is Fumbles. Fumbles opening up with Group L. Someone who has improved a heck of a lot at this game from when I think I first played against them. Doing a really, really good job. Group M. Now there's a couple of people that haven't been in. Orski's also not in this one. Um, again, sometimes I think life just kind of gets in the way. You know, sometimes we wait for bits and pieces. That's totally fine. Uh, so next up is number 32. That is going to be the Turquoise, um, which is not a good... Um, O-I-S-E. The Turquoise Tiger Stripe, which is a one of my favorite names out of anyone in this entire competition. I really like it. <laughs> Go try that. Open up with Group N. All right. Next up's Group N. Number twenty-one. That is gonna be you got franked. Uh, Frank, of course, uh, a regular now, if you want to call it that. Uh, played a couple of times now over in the North Carolina Invitationals. 
of course, went uh, won the first competition. And then went, had, was, had chances to go deep in the second one, but I ended up putting them out in the final uh, knockout round, which was crazy. Um, absolute, absolute insane ga game. One of the most craziest games I've ever played. Absolutely wild. So they will be a force to reckon with, I imagine, in this group. Maybe you want to try and miss. Yeah, I don't think Orski's streamed for a little bit. I don't know quite what's going on. I haven't really had a chance to really see what's going on on Orski's side. I think he's, things have just gotten a bit of the way in a bit, but I could be wrong. I don't want to speak for him. Anyways, group O is going to be number 26. That is El Muchacho. El Muchacho in for group O. Okay, so now it's back to group K. Joining Terry Fabulous is going to be number 12. That is Raven. Someone who I also believe has been putting in some hours into Uprising, I believe. I haven't had the chance, I don't think, to really play against her very much, but um, hopefully we'll get the chance. Okay, next up, Group L is going to be number 19. That is going to be uh, Power Kick, also known as Alex. Typing is difficult. We'll be joining in with Fumbles. Okay, next up is Group M. Oh, is it? Which one is it? Oh, it's nearly me. Nope, it's number one. That is Joe MB. Joe MB joining in for Group M. That Man, that was close. I really thought it was going to be me there. Usually in these draws, I tend to get picked at the end of the draws. I've never been drawn, I don't think, early in a group. So, uh, yeah, that was looking really interesting there for a moment. But, nope, it misses me just about. Okay, next up, Group N. Joining You Got Franked is the other side of me. <laughs> it's number 35. That is going to be H. H joining in for You Got Franked's group. Again, Group N, maybe one looking early to see Mono get too heavily involved in. If you're really quick, DM me and I'll see what I can do. I've said to one person, I'll see what I can do. DM me on Discord and uh, we'll try and sort something out. We'll try and sort something out. Okay, next up is number 24. This is going to be for Group O. Uh, and that is going to be the Game Slayer. Who went on a decent run, actually, in the uh, Imperium Cup. Played pretty well. Maybe a little bit unlucky to not go a little further. Uh, but still, I think we'd be pretty happy making it all the way through to... Uh, was that, did they make the semis? I think they made the semis. It's a good run, though. Okay, next up is Group K. Back to this. It's going to be number 33. That is going to be Axel's. 5106. Axel's joining Terry Fabulous and Raven. See, my list of uh, pings and notifications on Discord are mounting over the course of this stream. I wonder why. Next up is going to be number 18. That is the Crumble Thief, which is another incredible name. Some folks have got some good ones. The Crumble Thief joining in for. Uh, group L. It's one of the amazing, it's one of the things of doing draws. It's like, I've done most of those draws, kind of, not to this scale, but a bit ones of, like, you know, people's actual normal names. It's the really funny thing at the North Carolina Invitational is where you got sort of draws of, like, here's Paul Denon, uh, here's so-and-so, people's actual names, and then suddenly, here's Sneaker Dead, and here is Morphle. It's just, like, really weird hearing the two next to each other, but I'm, like, I'm kind of used to it now. Honest to God truth, there are some people who I speak to in real life who refer to me as Shadow more than my actual name. Honest to God truth. I don't know if it's a good thing or not, but it is the truth. Anyways, Crumble Thief in for there. All right, back to Group M. Turquoise, Joe MB. It's a low one. It's going to be number four, just about number five. Number six, not one he wanted to draw. That is Ancient Slumber. Hopefully you're ready to get rock and roll in time for the competition. Okay, next up is Group N. 
joining Frank and H. Number 22. Ooh, that is getting spicy, that one. That is going to be Nikon, or FX Nikon. Very, very strong player. Group N looking a little, a little deffy at the moment. Next up's Grupo with Charcho in Game Slayer being joined by number 29. Because I forgot to eliminate that one. And that is Marvin's Quest. Marvin's Quest. Who is, uh, who's turned out to be quite a, quite a handy little player at this game, from what I seem to have noticed. Good. Don't. <laughs> Anonymity is better. Makes life easier. It's a trade secret, you know. All right, then. Back to Group K is number 23. That is the DCA Terror Lord. Terra in for Group K. All right, next up to Group L. Fumbles, Power Kit, Crumble Thief, and number seven. That is Batada, also known as WNZTA999. Uh, I'll put in, I'll put in Batata. That should be fine. Regular and old competitions, generally done pretty good for themselves. Maybe do a really deep run. Haven't quite had that yet, but uh, very handy nonetheless. In for Group L. Okay, Group M, Turquoise Joe, Slumber. And number 25, that is the Lunatic. That is Luna in for Group M. Group M looking like a lot of fun, actually. Looking like a very, very entertaining little group at the moment. I wouldn't mind joining. I mean, this is why I do the wheel, you know. That looks quite, uh, looks like quite an entertaining group at the moment. One to watch. Group N. Oh, that was close. Group N is number two. That is SPE Creep, also known as Hell's Angel. Joining Frank H and Nikon. All right. Grupo. Oh, it's, it's just so close to me. Everything just can't hit me at the moment. Number 34. That is Toll. Uh... Yeah, that's all lowercase, isn't it? I believe it is. Uh, no, that's an O. Toll in for group O. <laughs> I bet you would. I. This, you're not even lying. Don't worry, we can we can sort something out for Alpha. Number twenty-seven. That is gonna be unlucky bow. Hopefully not for the course of this competition. Unlucky finds itself in group K. Right, next up, Group L. Fumbles, Paraket, Crumble, Batada. Oh, dear. And it's number six. It's a big one. It is Mr. Sneaker Dead. Semi-professional board gamer at this point. Doesn't know how not to go deep in these competitions. Probably one of the big names to beat over the course of this. And you might think could be, you know, if you were doing odds for everyone in the competition, he'd be like probably top five, top ten sneaker. Very, very strong. Uh, group L, probably not too happy with that draw, but Sneaker Dead finds himself in there. Maybe that is another one to try and avoid. Watch myself get into it. Next up's Group M. Group M is going to be number nine. That is Super Toppy. Or Super Toppy. I wouldn't want to predispose, you know. I mean, Morphs, uh, you know, he's Sneakers Sneakers going to be up there. I don't want to go that far, but he's uh, he's one of the men to beat, you'd imagine. One of the men to beat. Okay, next up is Group N. Frank H. Nikon's SPD Creep. And number 10, that is a pre Precris. I'm going to go with that. If I mispronounce some people's names, I apologize. You cannot sue me. They find themselves in Group N. Of course, Sneaker, one of the individuals that put me out of the uh, Outrising Invitational, but, you know, I, was, I did pretty well make day two. It was a hell of an event. Uh, next up, Group O is going to have number 14. That is the Damon Cleaner. 
of a demon cleaner. Join in for group O. Don't worry, it, uh, it's fine. Don't worry, I'll uh, just say like, DM me and we'll get you sorted, man. We'll get you sorted. Uh, next up is Group K. And it's going to be number... Oh, I need to update that. Is number 28. That is Stop Licking. Stop Licking in for Group K. Next up, Group L. Oh, man. It's me. It's me, isn't it? Yep. It's me. We join Sneaker & Co. Well, nothing to lose. Shame. I really wanted to be in Group N. That looked like a real a lot of fun. All right. Next up is number eight. That is going to be Jock. Jock in for Group N. I'd be surprised. He's probably played more games today than I've played like the past several weeks. That's the honest truth. Uh, next up is number 11 joining Group N. That is Maznaz. Maznaz in for Group N. I mean, I started pretty decently. I, 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 this is true. But I also had uh, my hands kind of up really. Like I started about as well as I could have done. And it all just kind of fell apart. That's the way it goes sometimes. I could have ran better. I got ready for all the worm fights and all the war conflicts came. I'm like, well, that sucks. What are you going to do? You don't pull an entry, you don't pull one. Uh, anyways, next up is number 16. It is Benito Max. Benito Max joining in for Group O. You're probably just too kind, Mr. Mr. Demon. You're too you're too polite. So we've got uh, a few names that I haven't blacked out. Haven't done that one. Haven't done that one. Haven't done that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks good. Okay, next up then is gonna be number four. That is uh, that is Astiel. Astiel in for Group K. Not the first time me and Sneaker have been drawn in a group, by the way. I believe the first Imperium Cup, uh, I believe we got drawn in the same group as well. Finishing off our group then is going to be number 17. That is Fenderico, man. Fenderico had a, a pretty good run as well in the last competition. Uh, he made the cutoff for day two by a hair. Uh, he made it, for, it was like by like half a percentage point or something like that on the average points rating. It was a, literally, it was razor thin. Uh, but I was really happy for him to get through. Fenderico says off the end of Group L. That's a, that's a wild group, that. I do not fancy my chance in that at all. Uh, next up is number 30. Uh, which is, uh, uh, yep, sorry, everyone, a little bit over there. This is a le Leaky? May put me pronounce that? We'll go with that. Again, if I get them wrong, I'm sorry. Group N is going to be number three. That is Ayasaki, also known as the Mystic Gamer. He's had a couple of half-decent spins in the competition as well. Uh, that leaves... I've... Yeah, we did do Jock, didn't we? I seem to recall that, which means we've got just two names left to draw. Coyote and Cherry J. Joining Grupo will be number 13. That will be Coyote. Beauty May 2, which means that it will be finally Group K will be Cherry J joining and finishing off that group there. I did get Jock in one of these, right? There he is. He's over there. I just missed him. So, uh, yeah, I think fair to say Group L, Group of Death. I don't think there's any debate in that whatsoever. 
I'd be happy to make it out of that in any way, shape, or form. I don't expect to. Very good. All right. So let's get going then. So let's get on to our final draw list. Uh, so we've got 40 names in this one. We're going to have to come out a fraction to try and catch them all. Let me see if 95 is good. Oh, no. Uh oh, hold on. Can you see them all? You cannot see them all. Hmm. 37, 38. Right, yeah, you need to be a little smaller still. Again, doing it live, kids. There we go. That should be all 40 names. 40. 40's there. Very good. All right, then. So, yeah, groups P through to T. Our last five groups... Of the... What in the... Hmm, hold on. I see what's happened here. There we go. Cool. P, Q, R, S, and T. Five groups of eight players. We'll be drawing through these. This is our last set of players here. Let's get going. Okay. So, starting off is going to be group P. We're going to have ourselves number... 16 by a nose. That is going to be Pookie. Pookie starting off in that air. Very good. All right. It's going to be group Q. Almost done, folks. This is our last set of groups to draw. Uh, it's going to be number 12, which is Mr. I Won't Be Creative. My assumption is that he continues to lie about that fact. Uh, let's not italicize that. Whatever. Okay, next up's number 40 for Group R. That is going to be Mr. EV Bomb. He was a late entrant into the gump. Managed to get himself sword there. Very good. EV in for Group R. Next up to Group S. This is going to be number 29. That is Fogo. Uh, Fogo followed by a string of numbers. <laughs> it's the best way that we pronounce that. Fogo in for Group S. Okay, next up, Group T. It's going to be starting off with number 18. That is Burn Them Down. Hopefully someone has paid their insurance premiums. Okay, back to Group P. Uh, hmm. Burn Them Down. We'll ignore number 39. Uh, 39 is still on the wheel, isn't it? Right, hold on. We'll sort out as we go. Okay, next up is going to be number 17, which is the Biclops. Biclops in for Group P alongside with Pookie. So, yeah. For, well, 39, whenever we pull it, we'll ignore it. Thank you for that spot. I know there was someone that got doubled. I thought I caught it on this list. Apparently, I did not. So that'll be uh, four and I'll have to change that. Okay, so we only got 39 for this then. My bad. It'll fix it up. Okay, so next up, group Q is going to be number 19. That is... Um, mm. Wodemesca? I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with that. I might be hideously wrong, but I'm gonna go with that. Uh I've also missed some people. I was busy talking. You uh You're done. One, two, three, four, five. I've missed some people. Evie is done. You where were you? Hmm. I feel like I've missed someone here. Pookie, Biclops, yeah, you. Hmm. Who have I missed here? Uh, 
you, 19, that's who it was. There we are. Fun of games are doing it on your own. Okay, let's carry on. So back to group R. Number 15. That is Binji. Binji in. Oh, no. Oh, it just spun over. My apologies. Go on to number 20. That is Omont. I did not think that was going to spin over there. I've clearly been greasing those wheels on this. All right. I love how we've got this big, massive middle section numbers. We've just drawn none of the rest. Just this big turge of black. Kind of fun. Okay, Group S. It's going to be joined with number two. That is the Greedy Grill. Greedy Grill in for Group S. Oh, I've done it again. Ignore that. Okay. Group T. It's going to be number 15. There's Binji. Apologies for the earlier draw. Okay. Back to group P. Number 23. Uh, that is... Yeah, the helps for 23. That is Yamin. Yamin, who had a bad run of it in the previous competition. Hoping to go a little bit further this time. Group Q. Gonna be number 34. That is QC24. You want to in at full group Q? Off to group R. It's gonna be number four by nose. And that is Rick Troll. Three B. Rick Troll in four. Group R with Evie Bon Omar. That's already built up to be kind of a fun little group, that. Next up's Group S. It's going to be number 13, which is Videl. Who has been a, who has been a feature in some of our group, our competition previously, I seem to recall. All right, next up, Group T. It's going to be number 32. No, spin over. Number 33. And it's going to be Findest. Findest joining Burnham Down and Binji. In group T. All right. Back to group P. Pookie, Biclops, Yamin. And number 31. That is Colby. Colby2480 joining into there. Very good. Next up is group Q. It's going to be number 35. Yep, number 35. That is O. Baxter. Regular in the Dune Imperium streets. Next up is group R. This is number 25. That is the Taco Boy. Taco Boy 3000. Joining Evie, Omar, and Rick. Okay, next up, Group S. Yeah, that's a fun group you got, man. Group S is going to be number six. That is Jinx. Also, possibly not Jinx. We are still awaiting confirmation for the science experiments. Results were apparently inconclusive. Okay, next up is going to be Group T. It's going to be number 38. That's the one we are drawing. That is Snoozen. Snoozen. Sounds pretty good to me right now. <laughs> Been a long day. Snoozen in for Group... Hmm, that's... That's... Perfect. All fixed. All right, next up then is going to be number one for Group P. That uh, is the Commandum. Commandum 56. In for Group P. Next up, Group Q. It's number 32. No, just about 36. That is the Les Cecile. Let's just seal in for number 36. Get that done there. Beautiful. Things are going pretty smoothly for doing it by myself. Next up is going to be group R, number 26. 
That is B Raffi. B Raffi joining you, the Omant, Rick, and Ducker Boy. Okay, next up, Group S. Is number 14. That is Mr. Crazy Guy. Who has been putting in plenty of work on the Discord. Uh, responsible for multiple of our memes and such. But he's very much appreciated because I'm no good at that kind of thing. So uh, please keep up the hard work and we will continue to extol the virtues of your work. It is appreciated. Okay, next up, Group T. Group number 21. That is BYG Max. Also known as B, uh, BYGI, I believe, as well. BYG in for Group T. If you're watching BYG, you do need to be part of the Hidden Assets Discord. I know you're not. I've sent you a link. Please join it. Uh, okay, next up is Group P. And there's going to be number 9. That is Ophiuchus. O-P-H-I-U-C-H-U-S. That's the one. One of those tricky words. A fuchsia is, is, I'm pretty sure it is a word. It's just one of those really tricky ones. Next up is going to be group Q. Is number five. That is Chief. Chief C-L-L. Chief C-L-L in for group P. Or group Q even, sorry. All right. Get you blocked out there. Going on to group R. Next entrant is going to be number 37. That is GTS BCM. Joining for that group there. All right. Last few names now. Not long left to go. We've got about 10 left or so. And it's going to be number 11. And it's going to be Beast. No, not that one, sadly. Beast joining Greedy, Jinx, and Co. That's a fun looking group, that Bowie Group S. That's looking pretty eventful. Group T. Next up is going to be number seven. That is your White Shadow. This commentator offers no comments. White will be in for there. Okay, next up, Group P. Is number 24, and it is the Dinosaur, who's been at the t the Uprising Invitational event as well. Had some fun spins there, and there's got a, a pretty interesting looking group coming ahead for him, actually, as well. I think he won't uh, mind might that too much. Could be some lively games in Group P. Dinosaur in four. Group P. Next up, Group Q. It is number three. That is Stoop. Stoop in for what's looking to be quite a very competitive group queue. You would not want to call a winner out of that one. That looks really, really tight. Some very interesting games coming out for that one. That one's been pulled as well. Should have about like eight, nine left. Group R is going to be, is number 10. That is the Lannister. Lannister gets themselves into group R. Yet to have a deep run in the Invitational event, but obviously very, very strong player. Has had uh, fun with a lot of funky spields over the course of time. But has yet to have a deep run into an event. It's got to be coming one day. I think I've missed a couple. I think I've... Uh, hmm. We'll work out these names as we go. All right, then. next up is Group S. That is number 30. That is Michael Wild. Michael Wilde in for Group S. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I appear to have... Where have I gone wrong here? Oh, Rick's been pulled. And... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hmm. Have I missed someone here? I think I might have done... Oh, Yarmin. Yarmin we've pulled, haven't we? And... Three, four, five, six. 
I might have... Hmm. Eight. 39's on the movement list. That's the extra draw. I know about that. So that's why I'm ignoring that. So I'm trying to work out. There should be one here. 32. 31 went at some point. Colby? Have I drawn Colby? Probably doing it on your own. Colby has been drawn. Yep. Yeah, okay, that's all good. Just have to clarify that. Again, the problem with, like, trying to do this all at once, you can lose a bit there. So, uh, group T, uh, this is going to be not here. That's a, uh, that's another group. Let me just quickly sort this while I'm here. Do, 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 do. Ba, 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 ba. There we go. Everything is fine, everyone. Do not panic. Everything is okay. All right, last five names. Seeing off group T is going to be number 22. That is Sen... It's not a name I'm good with. Um, Sen sucked? I'm going to go with that. If I'm wrong, then I'm sorry. You have to live with it. There's group T finished off. And then lastly, group P... This is off is going to be number 28. That is Young Savage. Young the Dinosaur and Co. Number 32. Well, it's not 32 yet. It might be 32. It is 32. The Landman. Finishing off Group Q. We've just got a uh, couple of names. 8 and 27 remaining. 39. Ignore it. And it's number 27. Uh, Pawned or PXNED will join Group R, which means Group S will be finished off by number 8, which is Mr. Nine Soldiers. PCM is your roommate. And you drew each other's groups. That's pretty fun. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Man, group R looks really wild. There's a lot of lot of fun stuff to come there. Man, that's pretty that's pretty insane. Well you have to let them know that. Uh maybe don't tell anyone else that because that could uh you know I'm a tournament organizer, just gonna say. <laughs> but it should be fine. Yeah, there's some there's some pretty stacked groups here. There's some this is a pretty fun one. It's not the most stacked in the thing, I don't think. Oh, really? You're with Grill as well? <laughs> They've got a couple of people that like are happy to be room each other and also play as well. That's pretty wild. Yeah, some some fun groups here. Uh, some pretty competitive groups. Group S are definitely as well. I think these are pretty fun. Group Q is like absolutely wide open. I think a lot of people can have fun with that. Um, but uh, yeah, that is the end of the draw, kids. We are done and dusted. That is all the players drawn. So we'll have a quick quick little mini review of the groups just so you can see them all here. We'll run through them all as well. Group A, Zhibosh, Mitchell, Double D, Ting, Grizzle, Evan, Slurmish, and Albuff. Group B, Holly Boss, Hobbin Rood, Jester J, Brandon, Strong Acting, Roma is now good, and Hizia. Group C, we've got uh, GVX, Fig, Big Fig Wasps, Toaster, Schlafer, Sublet, Historian, Chimamanda and Crisis Lord. Group D, the Meowcenary, Serial, Epical, Epic Alone, Cartman Beck, Unbound, Cyclosaurus, CJFM, and Luke Maniac. Group E, we've got Henry, Morphling, Bean Lower, Public Spectacle, Alberto, Jocelyn, Joe Klein, I Pamster, and CJosaurus. Uh, group F, Sunny D, Harry Cheng, Eigen K, Aflingus, T Fakin. Jinxie, LSR, and Seven Spirits. There's going to be some... LSR and Seven Spirits in the same group is absolutely... That's going to be some real fun games there. Both very, very competitive. That's going to be some good, good matches. That. Group G. Uh, Fripair, Manalak, Magda Key, Kasparov, Dale and Jeff, D Monkey, and Sir Cassius. Group H. We've got Professor Charles Horse, Che Guevara, Sullivan, if... Dr. Bell, defending Invitational Champion Badger, or reigning, I should say, Winthrop, and the Brutito. Us three tournament people from one uh, just are playing the same group. Damn, that's pretty wild. Uh, group I, Shades, Matt Love, um, Wanim, Fairy Perry, Heretic, 
Bayoken and Kodos. Group J, we got Uber, Matthias, Water or Fire, Cheesable, Lucas, Yaismat, and Jurgis. Group K, we have Terry Fabulous, Raven, Axles, DCA, Terror Lord, The Unlucky Pal, Stop Licking, Astol, and Cherry J. Group L, which I'm not saying it just because I'm in it, but this is absolutely the group of death for this competition. It's not even debatable. There's some nasty groups, but this is by far the most brutal. Fumbles, Power Kit, Crumble Thief, Batata, Sneaker Dead, Gr Black Shadow, and myself. Absolutely ridiculous group, that. Absolute insanity. I, I would be... I would be amazed to even make top five in that. That is crazy. The Group M, Turquoise Tiger Stripe, Joe MB, Ancient Slumber, Luna, Super Toppy, Jock, and Lecky. Uh, group L. Group L, Jacob. Group Q is pretty stat, but Group L is just on another level. Group N is going to be uh, Google Frank, H, Nikon, SPE Creep, Prickrius, Maznaz, and Ayasaki. Group O, we've got El Muchacho, Game Slayer, Marvin's Quest, Toll, Damon Clay, and Benito Max, and Cody. Some strong plays in that one as well. That'd be some fun games. Fun group, that. Group P is going to be Pookie, Biclops, Yarmin, Colby, Commandum, Ophucius, the Dinosaur, and Young Savage. Group Q is going to be I Won't Be Creative, Woe Domesca, QC24, O Baxter, Le Cecile, Chief. Stoop in the Landman. And then lastly, we've got Group R with Eevee Bomb, Omart, Rick Troll, Taco Boy, B Raffi, TCS, PCM, Lannister, and PXNED. That's a fun group, that as well. That, there's some, some fun group matchings in that one. Group S. It's going to be Fogo, Greedy Grill, Videl, Jinx, Crazy Guy, Beast, Michael Wall, and Nine Soldiers. And then lastly, Group T, Burn Em Down, Bingy, Findest, Snoozin, BYG Max, Your White Shadow, and Sen Sut. That is your 150-something players. There will be a couple of additions made to these. A couple of late joiners, a couple of people that have joined but not done their form. So once I get into them, I will add them randomly as where necessary. But that is your sets of groups. Good grief. How did I draw that? Man. That's, uh, that is brutal. Top two in that's going to be very difficult. Be interesting how a thing goes, though. You know, it's, uh, yeah, that is, that is absolute group of death. I have, a, I, it's interesting. I, it's something I have noticed is that, like, two of the past three tournaments, I have drawn the group of death. Um, I mean, to be fair, like, the European region tends to be, like, has a very strong string of players in it. So sometimes you're going to get this where a lot of them just get drawn. It's just a wide open draw. There's no seeding or anything like that. So you are just going to get a big stat group. And usually in the European uh, draws, there's one group of death in amongst all of it. And this is this one for sure. I like the Viv. I, I don't know that I will. I'll try, but... I'm not optimistic. We'll see. Anyway, so thank you much for coming and coming along for the draw. It's been much appreciated. I'm going to go ahead and start getting everyone drawn into their various groups. Games reminder to begin next week. And there'll be some light changing of these groups probably as we rock and roll. Uh, so thank you for your company, everyone. Take care. Uh, we will try and get some Dune content going uh, maybe like Wednesday night or something, perhaps. Um, I am out Friday and Saturday. Uh, but I might be able to find some on like Wednesday evening. Uh, that's probably like the best, most likely chance I've got. So we'll, uh, we'll see how we go. Thank you for the, thank you everyone for coming along. It's appreciated. We do take checks. <laughs> um, I should probably plug my Ko-Fi more, but I'm bad at self-promotion. Um, but in any event, yeah, uh, we will obviously, this will get started. I'll try and cover what I can here. I don't know how much I'm going to cover because, you know, we'll see how we go. Should prove the most interesting. But uh, yeah, thank you for the company, everyone. Take care of yourselves and we will see you very, very soon.
<sighs> I'm not sure about that. So yeah.